Es ist sehr schwer für eine Mama zu reden über ihr eigenes Kind. Mrs. Zuckerman, who I call Jutta, was a real friend, and that's a big deal. It was a house like this, with such a love, such a chesed, that immediately there was a connection. It was as, as if I'd always been there. I didn't feel at all like a stranger. They left their shirts in the closets, knowing that they're coming back again and again and again. She created a home that was warm to us children and to her grandchildren who were extremely close to her. Wow, what a house of chesed, what a house of, what a revolving door. This is all stuff that I kept hearing from other people. For myself, this was normal, this was their life. My mother was extremely selfless. Shabbos Yantiv guests, it was never a hardship. She really had this passion for individuals, and she was able to connect to them, and she was able to help them. She ran the Bikacholam for years, and she ran many organizations, and every Tzedakah thing she was first to run and do. Ungefähr the Kimpe Turnheim, she had ungefähr the Bikacholam, we are a very schwer kranke Menschen, verbittet in the Schummes, and she has her angegeben, and with her gitte middes, and she has her angegeben, and she has a new life. In a name, so can in camp for water for living. I think my first words were Bikachola. People called her at all hours of the day or night if they needed some a respite for someone or a woman just had a baby and needed to come to this place and she just ran it and it was just so beautiful and perfect. She gave of herself. She didn't live her life for herself. It was always about her family, her friends, people that needed that needed her. She was always there for them. There was never a time that we didn't share my mother whether it was shared with a community function or a community project or it was with the Bikah or anything else. That's the memories that I have. That's, she was there for us 100%, but she was also there for everyone else. She had several psychology degrees. She never used it to make a living out of that. She only used it to help people all the time. The way you would think of a Gadol putting himself heart and soul into learning is the way she put herself into Chesed. It was 100% an integral part of her life. It was part of her DNA. She took me in and she provided me with a home and a family. If I wouldn't have ended up living by the Zuckermans, um, I would probably be ending up on the streets. She was um, a mommy figure. I called her Mama Zitch. My mother had more hours in the day than others. There was no other way to explain it. Anything really that she was totally involved in or any project that she took upon herself to do, she went after it 110%. Mrs. Zuckerman was the 411 and 911 on my phone and on many people's phones. When crisis hit, she was the first person to call. The loss is so huge because with her behind us, I truly felt there wasn't anything I can do. But the Tanakh Katuv Isho Gidoilo. על יוטה זיכמן, עולה השולם, אפשר ממש להגיד את העניין, איש או גדוי לו. You don't live for yourself, your life should be for others. We are announcing tonight that we are opening the יוטה זיכמן Center for Intervention. It's an intervention on many different levels, pretty much an intervention on anything that a Jewish woman needs. We need to address the crisis aspect of what lands through the doors of Ornaba. Whether it be at home, or at school, or in their marriage, or a hashkaf, or a halacha issue, that for them, at that moment, it's a crisis. It's something that girls haven't had for generations. Starting at a, at a very young age, uh, sixth, seventh, eighth graders, drugs, drinking, chil Shabbos, depression, anxiety, abuse, mental, physical, sexual. We want to be that lifesaver that they can hold on to. There is not a doubt in my mind and everyone's mind sitting here tonight that the word crisis and intervention completely rings. There's no other name that I could think of that coexists with it better than the name of Yitzhak Zuckerman. Since my mother-in-law passed away, many organizations have called me and asked me, we want to do something, Lili Nishmas, your mother-in-law. When I was approached about the Center for Intervention, it just clicked. I just thought it was so appropriate because she just always did this. There's a number to call for any crisis that they might have, and somebody's going to make sure they see through it till the end, that there is, the issue is resolved, and their ultimate goal, to be besimcha, be happy. And simply having somebody walk you through it, somebody who's done the research, and who can put you in a place that you're able to help yourself better, that's enormous. We will be connected to all the organizations 
that do intervention. So that if a woman comes to us, we will know where to send her. And on top of that, we will have the top professionals in-house working for Ornava. If you have the abilities, you should really get involved in an organization like Ornava or the Intervention Center and help because it's very needed. It's so befitting that we do this for my mother because she was a woman who empowered all. She was a real mother to every single person that came through the door. And I think that would be a real tribute for her, this organization.